Hello, I'm Cybex author William Panic. In this video, I will show you how to start creating an Active Directory structure by creating organizational units. First thing that we need to do is we need to open up Active Directory. The way you can do that is on your keyboard, you can hit the Windows key. That automatically brings up this Start menu. If you click on Administrative Tools, then you can click on Active Directory Users and Computers and that brings us into Active Directory. So I'll go ahead and expand that. Here I have the domain that I created on the video for Exercise 3.2 promoting a domain controller. So we created the Cybex.com domain. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the exercise for 4.1 and in that exercise we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna create a couple OUs. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna click on Cybex. I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna say New organizational unit. Now when I click on new organizational unit I'm gonna go ahead and click in Africa. There's a checkbox here it says protect container from accidental deletion. If this is checked then the only way you can delete this OU is by going into the advanced and unchecking it. For example if I actually click on OK here if I go and I try to delete Africa now so I'll go ahead and say delete. It's going to say, are you sure? When you say yes, it's going to give you an actual error. You don't have sufficient privileges. It's not that we don't have sufficient privileges. It's just that this OU is being protected. So what you can do is you can go under view, you can go down to advanced features. And when you get into the advanced features now, I can actually click on Africa. I can go into the properties. As I go through the tabs here, you know, I have my managed by, my object. There's actually a checkbox here. It says protect object from accidental deletion. So I'd uncheck that box. And now when I click on Africa and I say delete, it allows me to delete that OU. So that's under the advanced features. So what I'll do is I'm going to say new organizational unit. And again, I'm going to go ahead and put in Africa and say, okay. Next one that we're going to create is we're going to create one for Asia and I'll go ahead and say okay and then we'll go ahead and we'll create one for Europe so again we'll say new organizational unit we're gonna go ahead and make one for Europe and then we'll go on in and say new organizational unit and we'll make one for South America so in this video I showed you how to create an OU structure on your domain controller 